Hey, I'm Laura. I'm 26 years old and from the UK, but living in the Gold Coast of Australia. This August, myself and my boyfriend Aidan decided to pack up and begin traveling as digital nomads for the next six months. Currently, we're in Europe, and I'd love you to join us on our journey as we navigate work and travel for the first time ever. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to part two of the Santorini Vlogs. Picking up where we left off in part one, we began our second full day in Santorini bright and early, setting off from our villa in Megalochorin at around 5am for a 45 minute bike ride up to the most popular area of the island, Ia. So you may have heard of Ia as being famous for its incredible sunset views. You know, those Instagram shots you tend to see with the icon iconic blue domes. However, we didn't fancy fighting the crowns to get that shot. So we decided to head up there for a sunrise instead, where we were sharing these breathtaking views with just a handful of people instead. You hear about the crazy streets of the island all the time and since I've been, people have asked me, is it really worth the hype? Should I be going? Well, I would say yes. But just make sure you get up early enough to avoid the crowds. There's only a few photographers and content creators out at this time. First of all, all to ourselves. cheap breakfast spot that's still delicious. We've just been to Hungry Donkey here in Santorini. It's just a little walk away from the main front part where everybody goes and watches the sunset. Um, great crepes, lots of sweet sugary stuff, a good Freddo cappuccino, so recommend you give it a go and very good value, especially for Santorini. I think the crepes were around six to seven euros per crap so go and check it out so we've just arrived at Amudi Bay um, took the quads down to here the parking's a little bit confusing um, but we just found a good spot not on a hill because the handbrakes are not working too well and we're gonna go and take a dip. One of the best spots for swimming on the north of the island is a Moody Bay. It's just a short bike ride from motorbike or quad bike ride from Ia. Beautiful spots to jump off where a lot of the boat trips go from as well so we're a bit hot after watching the sunrise taking some pickies so we're just gonna go in have a little jump in and see what it's like arrived at Kamari Beach, a cute little beach town not far from Megaloporium where we're staying and we're going to go on to the beach, have a bit more of a swim there, have some cocktails and just enjoy our last day in Santorini.
God, have you ever? On our last night in Santorini, we decided to go all out and book a semi-private sunset cruise around the island. We decided to go with a company called Barca Sailing Santorini and I cannot recommend them enough. Our guide George was incredible and we had the most amazing food, best views and the most unforgettable experience. The only option about the red color is that uh, the Santorinian people, they, they don't like the red wine. So they don't like red wine. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we've just arrived. I believe this is Black Rock. These waters are so blue. It's like dark teal color. Um, absolutely stunning. If you are in Santorini, you know I highly recommend that. Um, yeah, you do go on a boat trip because there's some places you just can't reach without actually being on a boat. And um, yeah, just don't fall over like me. But you know, highly recommend. And worst case scenario, you fall into the water and you just have to do a bit of a free dive. There's actually a lot of divers out, so not the worst thing in the world. Do some free diving, have a look around, see what you find. Wait, I could probably sell these. <laughs> foot pigs, foot pigs on, um, foot fetish pigs on. You got a cat and a loot? On OnlyFans. Maybe somebody have a foot fetish for swollen aubergine feet. <laughs> <laughs> on the boat. Ready for the sunset. It's beautiful, isn't it? Sean Road, Rash Island. <laughs> Stop it, silly boy. <laughs> Stunning. One of the most beautiful things that we've done in Santorini. We took a sunset boat cruise, we stopped off for a couple of swims and had a lovely barbecue dinner and now we're just cruising back in the sunset. If you're looking for something unique to do, well, I don't know if it's unique, but once in a lifetime opportunity, then definitely hit a sunset cruise, take it all in, about 150 euro per person but definitely worth it especially if you're doing something like this and you're going to be on a semi-private boat there's just nine of us on ours today it's been absolutely incredible something i'll never forget and just a great way to sign on the center time to do that this evening but um, definitely worth the stop off for sure.